Now, the guys, we're going to remove the um, hybrid muzzle brake flash suppressor for the Ruger Precision Rifle 6.5 Creedmoor. It's very similar to the uh, 223 of our wrench. This separate indexing nut is there so you can make these gas ports any direction you want. You usually want them to the sides. So this indexing nut allows you to come out a little bit to make sure this is vertical. Put our screwdriver in, all the way through, lefty loosey. Simply take it off, not damaging the rifle. This little part has a recessed portion where the index nut is. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the index nut around. NRA competition this coming weekend, and I was told I'm not allowed to have the hybrid suppressor muzzle brake that's on this uh, rear precision rifle. So that's why it's being removed temporarily. I'm going to have to in turn re sight in my rifle just in case it changes my MOA a little bit. I wasn't prepared to do that, but now I am. Now that's on. Gently tighten so I can take it back off. Throw this away and make another video maybe shooting to see if this actually changes the MOA at distance. We're shooting 300, 500, 600 yards. I'm trained at 1,000 yards with this rifle within a 10-inch uh, circle. This is a 1-inch uh, MOA scope. It's the um, Vortex Gen 3 Razor. And also the rifle itself is a 6.5 rubber precision rifle Creedmoor. Um, and it gets you right on target if you relax. That's it.